Hello everyone, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got your usual update overview for Vigor Update 6.0 Junkers. This season adds lots of new content including the usual weapons and tools, as well as a new encounter map, Anakin. So first up, obviously there's a new battle pass themed around, I guess, junkyards. It's an interesting concept with some pretty decent cosmetics, but if you're looking for a more in-depth review of the battle pass specifically, Chris made a video overlooking it a few days ago. So first, let's talk about the largest change that came with this update. Every map in the game, including the new map, has a possibility of now being at nighttime. The footage that you see in the background is taken from the new map, so as you can see, it's still very well lit though. This lighting is shared amongst all maps, so the night modes have a very bright full moon, but the new map is the only one with the Aurora Borealis. This makes it still pretty easy to spot players while keeping that nighttime aesthetic. In my opinion, I think this was implemented perfectly, and I think its lighting looks pretty similar to Battlefield 5's night maps. If it had been too dark to spot people at longer ranges, I think it would have damaged the gameplay and made it too difficult to play aggressively. That's just my take on it though, and if you have a different opinion than mine, let me know how you guys feel about night maps in the comments below. Now let's talk guns. There are three new guns added to the game, those being the RPK-74, the Sawed Off Shotgun, and the ZAM-76. The RPK is a 45 round LMG that shoots 545 and is fairly accurate. The main thing separating this RPK from the existing one is the difference in ammo type and rate of fire, so at least in my experience, even though the two may look similar, they perform very differently. Now the sawed off shotgun is very difficult to say how it performs due to the random deviation of shotgun spread, but generally I feel like it plays almost identically to the IZH with slightly faster reload time and damage. And finally, we have the ZAM76. This is a sniper that shoots its own new unique ammo, the 7.92 Mauser round. In general, it feels like a slightly slower firing SVD, but overall seems like a nice mid to long range DMR slash sniper. Of course, we also got some new tools this season. Those being the decoy and the armor plate. The decoy is a small stationary jack in the box that when you place it, it plays the gunshot sounds of the guns you have on your character. So here, because I had the SKS and the RPK on my back, it made the gunshot sounds of the SKS and the RPK. Now let's look at armor. So an armor plate is a single use tool where you put it on your character and you can take a few extra shots to kill depending on the caliber. This only applies to the chest hitbox though, so headshots will still instantly kill. Admittedly, when I first heard about this, I was very skeptical because I thought it would be overpowered, but at least from what I've overseen through testing it with Chris and actually seeing the effect it has, it seems fairly balanced, especially when considering its cost to craft and that they only stack one at a time. If you would like to know the exact statistics for armor's damage absorption, Chris's other video on this will also be linked below. Now let's talk about different things in encounters. So the biggest and most glaring thing is the disruptive tower. When hitting this, you can make a certain area of the map jammed just like the jammer does. If you've been having fun hunting those trolls and lighters over the past couple updates, then you'll be happy to hear about the addition of records. These collectibles are scattered around all the maps, and at the shelter's new record player, you can select which of the songs you want to play in the shelter background. Also new in the shelter is the tic-tac-toe machine upstairs is now functional, and you can play a game of Connect 5 against an AI. And finally, let's talk about the quality of life improvements. You can now heal your teammates when holding a bandage, so now if you have heals and your friend is hurt, you can help them out. There are also two new kinds of crates that are given exclusively by daily challenges. These are weapon crates, which award strictly weapons, and material crates, which give building materials. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail, and I'll catch you all in the next one.